one of these cells is right inside the Metroplex. Let me show you time lapse video. And again, this is just the last 45 minutes. Took to the right of your screen there at the skyline and watch that heavy rain moving across north parts of Dallas County, headed towards Love Field, where it kicked up a 54 mile per hour wind gust here in the last 15 minutes. This is a live shot from Arlington looking towards that thunderstorm over Dallas County. You see the darkening skies. Obviously, it hasn't rained in Arlington. It's 90 degrees there. Meanwhile, at Love Field at this hour, it's 73 because of the heavy rain. We'll start off with a wide view, and you can see the two cells that I'm talking about. There's one that is just now getting into Melissa that's leaving Grayson County and northern Collin County. And here's the one that's over in downtown Dallas. But this has produced a flood advisory, this one up to the north in Collin and Grayson County, northern Collin County. And that flood advisory goes to 6 o'clock. So if your commute takes you up north, please drive careful. There's going to be a lot of pounding on the roads because this is very heavy rain. These thunderstorms are moving very slow. There is a couple of flood advisories across parts of Collin, Dallas, and Denton counties. One to 545 just right here from Plano over into Denton County, and the other one to 645 from Garland over almost into downtown Dallas. And it's this thunderstorm still producing very heavy rain right now over Love Field, over University of Dallas, and the 35E segment here. This heavy rain is basically barely moving, maybe drifting a little bit north. And we look at some of the rainfall amounts. Look how impressive. We're talking about 2.3 inches of rain have fallen just in that corner of Collin County and almost an inch and a half, well, just over, over in Garland. So this is a very heavy rain that is going on. All this should start dying down over the next hour and a half. And then we go to mostly dry weather. It goes all the way to Friday. It's going to be a hot end to your work week. And then storm chances do return here in North Texas. Looks like Friday late into Saturday morning. But for the next three days, be ready for the heat. Not much in storm chances. Maybe a little bit of a chance tomorrow in our southeast counties. And the same story on Thursday. But we'll leave it out of the metroplex as far as storm chances. And look at the temperatures climbing up into Friday, 97 degrees. And thunderstorm chances on Friday, pretty much along the Red River. Let me show you this on Future Sky Forecast. As you plan your weekend, you're going to see this front coming towards you on Friday afternoon and evening thunderstorms along the Red River that are in the overnight hours going to get into the metroplex and down into the south and then start to die back as we get into the afternoon hours. It's not going to be a washout on Saturday, just some morning rain. But Friday, isolated thunderstorms in the Red River counties towards the end of the day, and then that starts to spread south during the night and the overnight hours. And Saturday, that's our best rain chances, but it's in the morning, then we get into the dry weekend. Of course, this is a seven day forecast. It takes us to the 4th of July, and you can see we are talking about hot weather. There's your rain chances Friday into Saturday, leaving Saturday midday, and Sunday looks hot. We'll be in the mid 90s, and so does Monday, and so does Tuesday, as hot and dry weather will be the story next week. Hot, 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 Jeffrey. We thank, thank you, you Jeff. Sir.